That's a hard one too, because I have so many favorite characters. <laughs> Not quick, I'm sorry. Not quick enough. So we just wrapped up a photo shoot with Maxie, and I'm gonna ask him 12 random questions speed round and here it goes. When you have 30 minutes of free time, how do you pass the time? Either read or sadly my phone. What would you name the autobiography of your life? The picture of Matt Lee. <laughs> what was one of the best parties you've ever been to? Q music, I guess. I don't know, but maybe, I don't know. <laughs> That's so hard. He has like a lot. Probably the one I didn't remember most. <laughs> what did you do growing up that got you into trouble? Okay, me and a bunch of friends broke into, uh, well we didn't break into it, but we walked into this parking garage and there was an abandoned car. And uh, actually wait, we, it wasn't 4th of July, but we had leftover fireworks. And one of my friends told me that we should throw these firecrackers into Burger King. So we got a bunch of firecrackers, lit them, opened the door to Burger King, threw them in, ran away, and it sounded pretty, you know, like gunshots. Yeah. And uh, I got arrested. Oh dang! Yeah. How old were you when this happened? Fourteen. Oh wow. Yeah. It was a while back. They, I didn't go to jail, but they, they took me home. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> my mom was worse in jail. Oh, okay. <laughs> the best part of waking up is morning coffee. What is your favorite form of exercise? Jump rope? No. That's pretty good though. It's like a high intensity workout. Uh, maybe, maybe like abs. <laughs> like doing an ab core workout, I guess. What is one of your favorite quotes? This is a great quote, by the way. It's worth it. It's worth to get your phone out for this quote. It's the thought of not knowing that is so beautiful. Do you know who actually gave I don't. I, I, you just copy and paste. I, ca I just <laughs> list, yeah. Well, I can give you another one. It says, if you make your heart into a weapon, you always end up using it on yourself. It's a really deep quote. It's from the book Shantaram. Yeah. It's Gosh. about the yeah. okay. We can get something. <laughs> if you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would do? The, the 1.3 billion jackpot? Yeah. That one? What would you do? Probably pay put all the homeless people in New York into a hotel for the winter. See? Smart man. And maybe some food too. Yeah, we'll include it. Three course. Three course meal? Yeah. If you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? <laughs> okay, top three. <laughs> top three, okay. What's Holden Caulfield? Because he kind of reminds me of myself. Okay. I would pick the guy from, uh, what's it called? The man from Uncle, the main character. Not um, the Russian, but the American. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's awesome, he's cool. He's got the sex appeal, you know? Yeah, yeah. Probably a superhero, maybe like Super Spider Man or something. Like that. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see, next question. What story does your family always tell about you? Always the embarrassing ones, obviously. Yeah. Um, but like one in particular. They love to tell the one of when I was a baby and me and my sister always had like a love-hate relationship and they would always tell a story about when I would throw all of my toys from my baby crib into my sister's while she's sleeping which would almost like suffocate her and then I would jump from my crib to hers given I'm like two or three maybe maybe four I don't know and uh, I would like sleep with her they always tell everyone that I don't know why I always tell them you know, it's, it's like, so. I guess it must be like an interesting scene for Yeah, them. I think my mom's just a little too emotional. <laughs> She's really emotional. What's the best slash worst gift you've ever given or received? Best slash worst gift I've ever given or received. The worst is probably no gift, which I've done many a times. Get, just getting a card, I don't know, it's kind of yeah. unmeaningful. Maybe, yeah. Uh, best gift I've ever gotten was a surfboard from my dad for from for Christmas. Because yeah. me and him used to surf together, so yeah, got me a nice surfboard. Cool. So your dad surfs too? Yeah, yeah, he taught me how to surf. Last one is, which celebrity do you get mistaken for all the time? Celebrity. Okay, his name is Cook. I don't know what show he's from. I don't know what his real name is, but people always say he looks like Cook. 
so I can't help you guys with that. Yeah, they gotta figure that out. That one out. So there you go. That's all the questions. <laughs>